you have probably seen that uh, the President of the European Commission has tweeted her congratulations to uh, the lady who's just won the elections in Moldova, and she has stressed that this clearly corresponds to a, a clear a call to fight uh, corruption and to re-establish the rule of law and a path towards a more prosperous future. And, of course, the European Union is prepared to support Moldova. I'll give the floor to Peter for any further input on that. Merci. Thank you. Those basically are the key messages for our Moldovan partners. We have uh, congratulated them, like other representatives of the European Union have. Perhaps I could add a few further points on this election and the uh, victory of Maya Sandu. The people of Moldova have elected uh, their new uh, president and they have uh, voted in large numbers despite the uh, context of the coronavirus. So Maya Sandu's victory is a clear appeal from the uh, voters uh, to a leader who can uh, fight corruption and personal interests and actually ensure respect for the uh, rule of law and democratic standards. Now, the European Union will support uh, the Moldovan people. Uh, we want to support them to achieve uh, specific progress towards reform, as you've seen the association agreement between the EU and Moldova. And we also want to help them fight coronavirus and promote economic recovery. So we're keeping a very, very close eye on developments in Moldova. We're prepared to continue to provide support because Moldova is a key partner in the context of our uh, uh, Eastern Partnership. And uh, we are very willing to cooperate with uh, the new president. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. Are there any other questions on the elections in Moldova? Please keep your hand up if indeed you want the floor on that. Mumshil, you have a question on the elections in Moldova?